Good morning, and look what weather's woken me up today. <laughs> Ironically, this is the sort of weather that sends me to sleep. I've been lying in bed thinking it's ages since I've had a really noisy downpour to listen to, but here it is. Right now. I'm happy for her. And I'm delighted for me because I'm enjoying all this time that I'm getting to myself now to work on my own things and start to think about what to do with the rest of my life now that I'm not home educating and, well, not doing anywhere near as much as I was in the way of care. I've been thinking it was starting to look a little bit autumnal, but of course we are well into September now. Izzy's back at college. She started back on Monday, but then we had to come out again dermatology on Tuesday and then she went back again yesterday which was Wednesday when I didn't film anything and she even rang me up on the way back to say how much she thoroughly enjoyed it she's really getting into some nitty-gritty lessons now because we're into level three she only did the GCSE level version of it last year oh she was beaming she went into great detail and she never tells me what she's done in college so i was delighted for that yeah it's only about 8 25 in the morning but it's pretty dark and murky the first thing on my list is make coffee of course and then i'm going to settle down and finish off editing the mirtha vlog because i've still got quite a bit left to do with that and then I'm going to make my to-do list and focus on everything else I need to do for the day. It's just coming up to 12 o'clock now. I've had a bath in between getting the vlog up. I kind of set it off to export, had bath, came back and then did the rest of the doings, did the thumbnail and all that stuff. So that is done. And I've just written my to-do list. There's quite a lot on it. And the first thing to do is put on a light laundry load. I know, not very exciting. I thought it would be a rather great idea to relocate my mirror down there because I really don't like the fact that I can't see myself full length in where it was, which was there. I had it hanging up there because you see, I'm lazy. I don't like drilling holes in walls. It scares me because I always seem to take half the plaster off and then it's just a giant can of worms. But anyway, these things were on here when I moved in. So I thought, oh, excellent. I'll just put the mirror there, which was great until I got a new monitor and then it was obscuring the bottom half of it. So to see myself full length, I was going out into the hallway and looking in the mirror in the hall um, but I wanted one in here but the problem is you see is uh, it's not really very good down there is it well I'm missing having it on the wall so I need to put it back but the thing is I forgot I'd injured myself on the fair and which I'm still recovering from and when I lifted it off the wall it was kind of hurt myself again so I need to wait for IB to help me get it back basically but I think I'll give it a good clean while it's down it's got dusty look you Always, always forget the masks. And I've got it. Wash with masks. I still forget though. I need to put that lot away that I washed yesterday. I need to sort my recycling bins out because it was bin day yesterday and I haven't put the liners back in. I still have a couple of bits of shopping to unpack from two days ago. They've just kind of been sat there and the camping food still needs to go away because we didn't eat that much of it. Half tempted to just eat my way through it. And look at this morning's bean pickings and I didn't even look that deeply for them. So there may be some more hiding. And I already have from the last couple of days that many so my dad is definitely going to get some this weekend and I'll give him some to take to my mum as well excuse the hair I haven't done it I just going out with the bath and scruffed it up wet because it's a bit warm today in spite of the rain I'm gonna have a bit of a power half an hour now I think because the thing is all I've been doing this morning has involved sitting staring at a laptop screen apart from when I had a bath and all the other things well not all of them some of them involve going to a clothes shop but most of the other things I need to do involve sitting looking at a laptop so because I'm already a bit brain boggled from doing this I realized I do all my filming on really close crops the thing is I know that washing machine's on now though so the audio will not sound so good from further away but anyway um what was I saying yes I need to give my brain a break so that's why I'm doing my housework stint now 
It's coming up to one o'clock now and I'm on a roll. I've gone over me half an hour, but because I'm getting carried away, I'm allowing myself to continue. Hung out the next load of washing. I put the other load away, all in the drawers and wardrobe and everything. I've washed up the few pots and pans that needed washing up. Put all the other dirty things in the dishwasher and set that off. I've wiped down my surfaces and I've also changed the bins. I've made a little start on tidying the table, but as you can see, that still needs some work. Right now I'm trying to decide what to do with the camping food. I'm wondering if I should put put it in my emergency store downstairs. It depends on the dates of things. I'll have a look. I probably will. Here's my store down in the cellar. It's looking relatively full. I haven't actually looked to see what categories there are and if there's anything lacking. I've popped the packet rice and stuff up there and there's some ready to cook noodles there as well. Oh, check that clear table out. Look, I've regained control of it. Yes. Go me. I'm so hungry now, I have to stop for lunch. Just having my usual sort of lunch, high protein, low carb at the moment. Gonna have an egg or two with it. One egg probably, because I won't be able to eat it all. Those were ridiculously cheap. Look, 20p, but they are right on their date. In fact, they're probably a little bit past it. But I'm pushing the sell by date boundaries with those eggs, because I want to get my 20p's worth out of them. I haven't gone low carb completely, I'm just, I quite like a low carb lunch, but then come a couple of hours later, I'll probably have a sneaky snack, maybe a little couple of squares of chocolate or a biscuit or something and maybe some crisps, you know. So I'm just kind of eating them separately. Time to tuck in. It is now half past three. I've been up there sitting at my desk. I've been making phone calls. I've been sending emails, making more phone calls and sending more emails. It's like every email and phone call seem to generate more emails and phone calls. But anyway, I have achieved lots of things, I think, but I need to go and buy toilet roll now. Do you wanna see how much we have left in the whole house? We have this much, and I don't know where it all went to because there was loads there the other day. The next job on my list, apart from getting toilet roll, is to take these flipping knickers back to the shop. Somebody thought it was a good idea to design knickers with a seam up the middle, front and back. They practically meet in the middle. There's a little bit of, you know, gusset, but not much. Oh. They weren't for me, they were for the girl with the even more sensitive skin than me. So there is just no way. So those are going back and I have since bought more anyway that have seams in more sensible places. Oh, this is my new bag by the way, to replace the one that uh, <clears throat> sat on fire. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the geography of it. Mask, I'm trying to make it like the old one, but it's not quite the same. It's not quite got the same pocket configuration, but I'm gonna put my masks in there while I already have. And then the dirty ones in the side bit as they come off and, you know, need to be changed. There's an umbrella in there at the moment. Don't think I need that today. Not now, anyway. Now, I had more pockets than this, so I had different pockets um, designated for different cameras. And I still can do it, but it's going to be a bit different because there's, like, zippy compartments inside the big compartment. Whereas before, there was, like, three zippy compartments, so it was perfect. But I just couldn't get one the same this time. But I think I'll get used to it. I got my refund. I've come out to look for toilet roll, but I've discovered there is Christmas stuff here already, but not much yet. Either they've cleared it off the shelves or they haven't put it out yet. Three pound for nine, that'll do. Oh, I need tissues too, 65 pence a box. I'm gonna get two. We get through loads because of Izzy's allergies. I might have to have a sneaky look at the reduced to clear section. God, I bought loads of flipping light bulbs like that at great expense during lockdown. Online, don't need them now, I've got a house full. Sometimes you can get some real bargains here, but I don't think you are today. Still two quid for these pens. I don't think that's that cheap. Hey, I nearly didn't get my refund for those knickers, you know. Apparently they do not take underwear back, but they accepted my story, they obviously believed me, which was true, of course, they haven't been worn, they haven't been tried on, they were literally inspected, put straight back in the packet, so, yay. They said don't ask again, just next time check in the shop before you buy them, so I will, lesson learned there. I found a reduced thing I want, it was £6, now £2.50, but there's one missing, but it's a six-piece precision screwdriver set, and I do need them for my flute and my gig bag generally, they're just kind of handy and I lose them, you know, at gigs and things, so. They're coming with me, yay! <laughs> oh, I'm looking at things to do with compartmentalization. Oh, and over the door 
rack look. I need a solution for one of my cupboards. It's gone out of control, it has. I wonder how big that is. Oh, it's a tenner, mind. Look at these, £4.50. Those are little interlocking drawer organisers. Oh, yes. <laughs> I could go crazy. Right, I know they're there. I'm not going to buy them, but I can keep them in mind. <clears throat> I'm going to buy this for my boyfriend for £2.50 after he set fire to my bag last weekend. <gasps> they do Bombay mix in Wilco. That's not a very big bag for a pound though, is it? Mm. I'm going to get it anyway. There's quite a bit there. It's my late night guilty habit, that is. It's about six o'clock-ish now. I've been editing since I got back from Wilco, actually. And now I really need to practice my flute, but I'm not in the mood. I don't want to. I haven't even had it out of its case since I got back from my camping weekend. It just feels like such an anti-climax now after playing with people again. And I haven't got any gigs in the book till October, but I know I've got to keep it ticking over. Ugh. I'm gonna do 20 minutes, I've decided. I'm gonna compromise with myself. I'm gonna do 20 minutes of flute and then I'm going for a walk. Some me time, something I like to do. I like walking. So I'm just gonna get on with that and I will speak to you later. Well, I did half an hour on the flute and I'm out walking. Well, I'm not now because I'm getting distracted. Is it gonna pop? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The nights are starting to draw in a bit now, noticeably, aren't they? But I wanted to get out where there was still a bit of light, see some different sights and hear some different sounds. I did bring some Tupperware with me so I could do some blackberrying, but honestly, the light is going, so I think I'll give that a miss. It's about five to eight in the evening now. I've come in dripping with sweat after my strenuous walk. I'm glad I got that in because when I first got back from my weekend away, I was a little bit lazy for a day or two, but I seem to be getting back into things again now. Do you know, that weekend properly wore me out. I think I'm still recovering. <laughs> but anyway, if you have enjoyed today's vlog, you know what to do. It really helps me out to give the video a like. So if you did like it, I would love it if you could put a like on the like button thingy. <laughs> and if you're new here and would like to follow more of my stories, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.